All right, so we went to a uh, ATV park yesterday. Got absolutely filthy, but it was a great time. But there's lots of mud, and mud can cause problems, especially with brakes and moving parts that aren't sealed off. So I've got the quad all cleaned up here, and uh, mainly I'm going to focus on uh, oil, maybe the carb, and uh, going through the brakes again because I definitely got mud in the brakes. So before we start working on it, I figure I should uh, kind of give a background on this. This is a Timberwolf 250. Uh, I got it about a month ago, I'd say. I traded a blown up quad for it because I wanted something to ride. As you can tell, it's in very good condition. Everything on it's original, even the seat. There's no rips in it. You see, I've got it dirty now, but original tires. So it's pretty impressive. It's been very well maintained. And obviously, because it's in such good shape, I want to keep it that way. So that's why we're going to be tearing into the rear brakes first. And I would also like to check the uh, oil in the rear differential here. All right, so we're going to start with this rear diff here. We're going to check the oil in it. I've already got this fill plug cracked loose, I think. And you can tell that this has been removed before. So uh, hopefully someone has done some sort of maintenance on it. I'm going to stick a zip tie in there, like a dipstick, and just see what the oil looks like. So fortunately, it's not very... Uh, dirty that's not watery or anything it smells like diff oil so we're good there okay so we've got all the old stuff drained out as you can see there's a little bit of crap in there this bucket's been sitting outside too though so uh that might there was some diesel in it so i've got the drain bolt back in we'll tighten that back down real fast doesn't need to be super tight just snug some atvs have a uh like a fill bolt is what they call it on the side usually around this area that you fill it up you take that bolt loose and uh, once oil starts dribbling out of that bolt that's how you know it's full but this one you just fill it up till it starts coming out of here so just using this walmart brand gear lube you don't need anything fancy for these things All right, so we are full of oil. Wipe that off. in reverse. We're going to put the parking brake back on. There we go. Washer. The drum is a little glazed. But yeah, I mean, it's slick, but it's not. The cam seems okay. I think we're just going to clean those off, do a wet sanding on it, and uh, maybe get some of this dirt off the back. We're good. Okay. Yeah, not bad at all. All right, let's see how that worked. <sighs> Pretty dang good. Pretty nice. 
All right, so the next I'm gonna check on this quad is just if I got any air, or not air, water in the air box and drain it out. If so, yeah, we got some stuff in there. We got the air filter dirty. Perfect. So we'll get this cleaned out and we'll get that water drained out of there. So here's a look at the water that was in there. You see it's red mud. Uh, nothing really horrible and that could have honestly just gotten in there while I was pressure washing okay so I've got the air filter cleaned uh, you see there's a little bit of staining left but it's really not bad we're gonna let that kind of dry I clean it with soapy water and I think I'm gonna go to the sink and maybe just rinse some of that off of the lid at least but there's not much I can do about this in here other than drain it and wipe it down with a wet paper towel, maybe. Uh, but let's get that drained. All right, so the drain plug is right here. Got a little bucket underneath to help me catch any water that comes out so it's not going in the garage floor. Here we go. My problem I'm having is not a lot of it wants to drain out. So a lot of it's still sitting in the air box. All right, I'm gonna try a wet paper towel on that. It looks like it's gonna do just fine, so. All right, so we got all that wiped out uh, for the most part. Okay, so I've got the air filter dried out, cleaned up, air box cleaned up, so that's all put back together. We've got the plugs back on top of the battery. Battery has uh, some acid and distilled water put in it. And I've had it charging. You can see the charger has turned off now, but still doesn't quite turn it over. I'm sure the battery's just completely shot anyways. The more we run it, it'll probably get better. So we'll see what happens with that. Back bricks are working. All right, y'all, I think that's going to be the end of this video. It's a couple days later. I've been using the quad, as you can see. I use it to go uh, fishing down at the creek and whatnot. The battery hasn't truly come back to use the electric start, but once you've been riding for a little while, it does kind of, you know, you can use it to start it up once it's been charged on, but it just doesn't really hold it there. As you see, the engine oil is in good shape. I didn't really touch the front brakes because they're in good shape as well. They're not really crunchy. They didn't really get wet. So those are good. Rear brakes are still working perfect. Rear diff is good on oil. And uh, it's running a little better with the things we took care of in the air box and air filter. So that's good. But anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content on four wheelers. I might do mountain biking stuff if people are actually interested. And I also have a tractor out there. I rebuild some tractors and all kinds of stuff, truck stuff, anything with a motor. If you're interested, go ahead, subscribe, because I plan to do much of that in the future.